your hands together for a warm welcome to Rania Sporivillis. And the first of the dogs in the pastoral group is the Australian cattle dog, followed by the Australian shepherd, the bearded collie, and the first of the Belgian shepherd dogs, Gronendal, Tavernen, sorry, followed by Malinois, and then the Gronendal, and the border collie, and the Briard and the rough collie, the Estrella mountain dog, the Finnish Lappen, the German shepherd dog, the Hungarian Puli, the Lancashire healer, the Marema sheep dog, the Norwegian Buen, the Old English sheep dog, the Polish lowland sheep dog, the Pyrenean mountain dog, the Pyrenean Sheepdog, the Samoyed, the Shetland Sheepdog, the Swedish Valand, and the first of the, cor cor the Corgis, the Cardigan, followed by the Pembroke. No, that's the Lancashire Healer. Is that the Bohun? The Bohun, yeah. The white one? Yeah. Behind the little one. Yeah. Behind the Pyrenean. Oh, I see what you mean. The, yeah. one. the one with the curly, the spitz like one. Yes. That's. Um, so as the dogs move round into position, I'm sure our judge is going to have a look at the group in its entirety. Let me take this opportunity to explain a little about the pastoral group that we see before us. Well, it is moving straight on to the first of the dogs, which is the Australian cattle dog, judged today by Jane Paradise. And it was the dog 5508, selected as the best of breed winner. As its name suggests, the breed hails from Australia, and it was the ranchers who evolved a special breed of working dog by blending the native red dog and the smooth-haired collie, and even the Dalmatian. They're speedy characters, charging to the head of the mob of these cattle herds in order to swing them round in the dire direction desired by those herders. The Australian cattle dog, 5508. Australian Shepherds today were judged by Angie Allen from an entry of 42. It was the male, 5532, selected as best of breed. Although Australian by name, this breed is in actual fact a Yankee, having been developed on the ranches of Western America. The Aussie, as they are now known, acquired their name from the fact that they were used to herd Australian sheep, and in fact the breed was seen in the West as early as the 1800s. The best of breed winning Australian Shepherd, double five, three, two. Bearded Collies today were judged by Alan Hood. From an entry of 143, it was double five, nine, six. The bitch chosen as the best of breed winner. The history of the beard, as they're known, is a real mix of fact and fiction. They're undoubtedly Scottish in origin. And there are reports that a Polish trainer who'd purchased sheep from Scotland bought six Polish lowland sheepdogs with him to collect his stock. So impressed with the herding skills of these dogs was that Scottish farmer who'd sold the sheep that he bought the dogs, mated them with the local herding dogs, and voila, the beard he was born. Double five, nine, Double five nine six, the best of breed winning bearded collie. So this is the first of the Belgian Shepherd dogs, the Turveren, judged by Christine Malinowski. 
Christine had an entry of 27, and it was this female, 5726, that she sent through to the group this evening. Turverans are highly energetic, intelligent dogs who really do need a job to do to keep them occupied. Like the other Belgian Shepherds, they excel not only in the herding field, but obedience, fly ball, tracking and protection work. 5726. Now it's the turn of the Malinois. Lynn Dumbro was the judge and it was this dog, 5709, chosen as best of breed. Hailing from the Malines area of Belgium, this variety is not just a good farm or herding dog. Its working skills are unbelievably good, both in the United States and Europe. They're used for personal protection, police work, including detection, search and rescue. 5709. Now we move on to the Grenadale. This is a male, 5707, chosen again by Lynn Dumbra. The first breed club was formed in Brussels in 1891, with the first breed standard being written the following year. It wasn't, however, till 10 years later in 1901 that the Belgian Studbirds first actually recognized the breeds. But they're all Belgian shepherds. Mm -hmm. but the best of breed, winning Grenadale, 5707. And on behalf of Windsor, a huge thank you to the judges today for working in these inclement conditions and the exhibitors for putting up with the rain. I think it's time to give all of those judges and yourselves a big round of applause. Thank you very much. Border Collies today were judged by Sheila Gay. And this is a bitch who came through as best of breed number 5869. Largest entry in the group today. And as its name suggests, the Border Collie was developed on the borders of Scotland and England, primarily for its herding skills. Briars today were judged by Marilyn Scrutton. Marilyn had an entry of 43. It was a bitch, number 5912, chosen to represent the Briards in tonight's group. This is an ancient breed of dog, originating from France, became increasingly popular in the mid to the late 19th century. And it's purportedly a mix of the Beauceron and the Barbet. Famous names associated with this dog are Napoleon Bonaparte, Emperor Charlemagne, and Thomas Jefferson. This is another good herder in the group. Also during World War I used as a sentry guard, messenger, and search and rescue dog. 5912, the Briard. We move on to the Rough Collie. There are 114 Rough Collies here for Michael Wargan to look at. Michael chose this pitch number 5956. Originating in the early 19th century in the Scottish pastures, this is another herder. Popularised not only in fiction and portrayed on telly as Lassie, but strongly represented by royal patronage. Queen Victoria loved this breed. And an interesting fact, Rough Collies were first exhibited at the show in Birmingham in 1860. The Rough Collie 5956. 
6066 is the best of breed winner in the Estrella Mountain Dogs, judged by Robin Newhouse. This is a dog. The earliest of the breed's ancestors were found on the central mountainous Serra de Estrella, in what is now known as Portugal. Slightly blurry history here, but an initial breed standard was written in the 1930s and confirmed in the 1950s. The best of breed winning Estrella. Debbie Stansbury judged the Finnish Lappens today. From an entry of 29, it was the male 6090 who's won through. As his name suggests, the Nordic country of Finland is this dog's birthplace, a medium-sized, hardy, spitz-type breed. The herding skills were used for reindeer, usually originally by the indigenous Sami people. The breed was introduced into the UK in 1989 and later to Australia and North America in the 90s. The Finnish Lappen. <laughs> Kay Whittingham was the judge of German Shepherd Dog. We had an entry of 44 and it was a dog, 6143, chosen for the best of breed in tonight's pastoral group. Known in his homeland as the Deutsche Schäferhund, they're a relatively new breed of dog, dating back to around about 1899. Indeed, it was the Prince of Wales in the 20s who popularized the breed. So much so that in 1926, this breed headed the list of registrations at the Kennel Club with over 8,000 dogs. Sixty-one forty-three, the German Shepherd Dog. On the table now, we see the Hungarian Puli. Marilyn Scrutton was the judge of the Pulis. This was her second breed today. And it was the bitch, 6174, chosen as best of breed. The Puli, as the name suggests, originates from Hungary, introduced from traveling Mayars from Central Asia over a thousand years ago. It's one of the smaller breeds in the pastoral group, excellent at its job of herding and guarding livestock. It's long corded coat, similar to dreadlocks, virtually waterproof, very useful when it's working in inclement weather. Would have been okay today. 6174, the best of breed winning Hungarian Puli. And from Hungary, we travel back to the United Kingdom to the northern county of Lancashire, where the Lancashire Healer was established. Bob Wood was the judge, and it's this male, 6184, that Bob selected as his best of breed winner from an entry of 18. Originally bred and used as a drover and herder of cattle, this little dog is also used on the farm for efficiently controlling vermin. It has been around for over 150 years. Alert, friendly, energetic, intelligent, and playful. Well described this, this lovely breed. The Lancashire Healer. Jill Peake judged the Maroma Sheepdogs today. Jill chose this dog, number 6199, as best of breed. The 
The import register is about to start, please. So could the import register please make their way to their ring? The Marema Sheepdog, or Maremano, as it's referred to in its native central Italian region from whence it comes, is another guarding breed who keeps the flocks and shepherds safe from wolves. Fearless in its job, the best of breed winning Marema Sheepdog. Vic Salt was a replacement judge today for Norwegian Bruins. Vic judged 26 today, and it was the male 6209 chosen to represent the breed in tonight's group. This is another Spitz type breed, hailing from Norway. The little translation of his name is Farm Dog, where he's used as an all purpose dog, herding and guarding, and as a sled dog too. It's said that this breed dates back to the year 900. Six two zero nine, the Norwegian Buund. Now we move on to the Old English Sheepdog, judged today by Colette Churcher. It was the bitch number six two four three chosen from twenty? This breed can be traced back over three hundred years, and in Victorian times, the Old English was known as the Shepherd's Dog or the Bobtailed Sheepdog was first exhibited in 1873 at the Birmingham show. Lovely natured dogs, the old English has featured in the movies too, notably as Digby in The Biggest Dog in the World, and also as Edison in the children's classic Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Sixty-two forty-three, the best of breed winning old English sheepdog. Too much hair for me. Yes, I have smooth. Polish lowland sheepdogs today were judged by Russell Jones. It was the male, 6254, chosen from an entry of 10. Known in its homeland as Poland as far back as the 13th century. I'm reliably informed by my assistant here, the breed is called Nasini in its natural state in Poland. The breed is descended from the Hungarian Puli that we saw earlier in the group. This breed has an excellent memory, fairly easy to train, but it's a canny one. It needs to be kept in check or can at times take advantage of a weak master. The Polish Lowland, 6254. 6259, the Pyrenean Mountain Dog. Sent through by Lucinda Burgess from an entry of 49. This impressive breed stretches way back in time and was originally used by the people of the Basque area of Spain and the French in the Pyrenees, and Pyrenees as an excellent mountain herder and guardian. During the Second World War, the Pyrenean was used by French troops to carry messages and to carry munitions and parcels too. An important feature of this breed is the double dew claws on the back legs, so important for stabilizing the dog on rocky and rough mountain terrain. 6259, the Pyrenean Mountain Dog. Dave Weller judged the Pyrenean Sheepdogs today, and from an entry of nine, he chose the Bitch 6309. 
This is another breed hailing from southern France and the borders of northern Spain. This breed was not recognised with the Kennel Club until 1988. It was after the First World War that the Pyrenean Sheepdog gained national recognition in France for its valiant work as a courier, search and rescue dog, watchdog, as well as its superb herding and guarding skills. In the show ring, there are two coat types, long and semi-long, and a variety of colours too. 6254, the Polish Lowland, uh, sorry, the Pyrenean Sheepdog. We move on to the Samoyed, judged by Lisa Bobrowski. Lisa had an entry of 50 and she selected the male 6343. Samoyed takes its name from the Samoyedic people of Siberia, so in reality, this breed is Russian by birth. The lovely smiley expression of this breed makes a Sami, as is known, the laughing cavalier of the dog world. The best of breed winning Samoyed, 6343. John Carter was the judge of Shetland Sheepdogs today, and John had an entry of 134. He chose the bitch, 6476, as his best of breed winner. In 1908, a meeting was held at Lerwick, the capital of the Shetlands, and a club known as the Shetland Sheepdog Club came into being. The following year, Shelties were first recognised by the Kennel Club in 1909, and the first set of challenge certificates came during the war years in 1915. In fact, the first champion in the breed was Clifford Pat. Sixty-four, seventy-six. the best of bring winning Shetland Sheepdog. On the table now we see the Swedish Valand. Vic Salt was also the judge of the Valands today and he selected the bitch 6506 as the winner overall. This ancient breed goes back to the times of the Vikings and is, is indeed sometimes referred to as the Viking dog. First recognised as a breed by its home Swedish Kennel Club in the 1940s, it was in the 1980s that the UK Kennel Club granted recognition. Bred to herd, to guard, to control vermin, this small but hearty breed is a very, very efficient worker. Six five zero six, the Swedish Valor. The first of the corgis is the Cardigan Welsh Corgi. Jamie Skull was our judge. Jamie had an entry of nineteen. He selected the male six five three two. The first breed club for the Cardigans was established in nineteen twenty six. And although first recognised along with its cousin, the Pembroke, in 1928, it wasn't until 1934 that the breed was recognised as a separate breed by our Kennel Club. In past times, the cardigan was known as the Welsh Yard Dog, as the length from the tip of the nose to the tip of the outstretched tail is the measurement for a basic Welsh Yard. Six five three two, the Cardigan Welsh Corgi. He 
Ina Elwood was the judge of the Pembroke Welsh Corgi, and Ina had an entry of 59. And she chose double six zero two as her best breed. It's the bitch on the table now. Another herding farm dog originating from Pembroke in Wales. They are perhaps best known for their very close association with Her Majesty the Queen. <laughs> breed can be traced back a thousand years to the Vikings and Flemish weavers who may well have brought these dogs with them when settling in Wales. The best of breed winning PEM, double six zero two. Winning through from the Any Variety Not Separately Classified competition, judged by Meg Pernell Carpenter from an entry of 25, is double six two five, the Commodore. This is a cousin of the Pooley that we've seen earlier in the group. Hungary is also this herding dog's country of origin. The word Commodore translates to cumin dog, and the breed is descended from Tibetan dogs which came from Asia with the Cuman people as they fled the invading Mongols in around 1100 AD. Best of breed winning Commodore from not separately classified double six two five. So Denise going to have a look at this group in its entirety, 27 I believe, before making a short list of finalists. There's a wide range of skills across these breeds, a wide range of size and build and a huge geographical spread too, covering the globe in terms of origin from the heat of Africa and Northern Australia to the harsh cold temperatures of the Arctic, to the mild European pastures, all of these dogs are linked in one purpose, to work hard, hard herding and guarding. The Bearded Collie. The Grunander. The Bria. The German Shepherd Dog, the Hungarian Puli, Norwegian Buand, Pyrenean Mountain Dog, the Samoyed. And that's the shortlist. Thank you very much to those other best of breeds. Well done on winning through in your individual breeds. But we have our eight finalists. So as the other dogs leave the ring, very soon we will ask them to move round. So, headed off by the first of the shortlisted dogs, the Bearded Collie, followed by the Grenendale and the Briard, the German Shepherd Dog and the Hungarian Puli, the Norwegian Bluin, the Pyrenean Mounted Dog, bringing up the rear of the Samoyer. So this is your chance to applaud these dogs. So first off, it's the Bearded Collie. This was sent through to us by Alan Hood. This is a bitch, 5596. Five, asking them to go round again to see the profile movement, which is good, use the ring.
Sent through by Lynn Dumbrell, this is the Grunendale. This is a male, 5707. Best of breed winning Grunendale 5707. Seven. Now it's the turn of the Briard. Sent through by Marilyn Scutton. This is a bitch. 5912, the best of breed winning Briar. <laughs> now we have the Hungarian Pooley. Another one sent through by Marilyn Scutton. This is the bitch, the best of breed winning Hungarian Puli 6174. The German Shepherd Dog. In the breed, judged by Kay Whittingham. Number six, one, four, three. We move on to the Norwegian Buen. Sent through by Vic Sort, the best of breed winning Norwegian Buhan, 6209 a male. The Pyrenean Mountain Dog. Breed Dutch today was Lucinda Burgess. This is a male, 6259. <laughs> Bringing up the rear, it's a Samoyed. Selection of Lisa Bobrovsky. This is a male, 6343. So we have five males and three females. Renee is going to have one last look at these eight shortlisted dogs. And if the boards could come into position, please. While Renee considers these dogs, yes, she's made her decision. The boards are in place, and the winner of the pastoral group, the fifth of the groups at Windsor, is... It's the Samoyed. 63-43. Congratulations. And second in our pastoral group is... The Hungarian Puli. 61-74. Third in our group. It's the Norwegian Boon. 62-09. And fourth, it's the German Shepherd Dog. 6143. Congratulations to the other four shortlisted dogs, but huge congratulations to the Samoyed.
put your hands together for the fifth finalist at Windsor 2014, the winner of the pastoral group, the Samoyed.